Hello friends, this is Kiran CS. You are watching me on KCS classes for Commerce and Management, Kerala PSC College Education Syllabus Published. Commerce in the Idwara Nadlia, Pakshe, answer writing mode in the Varina descriptive one. In a Mumbula exam pattern, objective Irono, then in the Jinaka Mumbula video, Nan mentioned in the Dirono, Adil GK in the Varina twenty percent and Dirono, eighty percent and the subject. We expect to be 100% subject and we expect to be 100% exam pattern descriptive Entire 100% subject Then descriptive is the same If you are learning this, you approach it If you are preparing for the preparation, an in-depth study is actually required That is the same All important subjects in this in-depth analysis in this video you can expect to be so, in this video, I will discuss the subject of financial management. So, introduction to financial management. So, introduction to financial management. Financial management is related to the most important thing in this introduction part. So, once again, welcome back to KCS classes. So, finance. Finance simply means what? It's the science of money. Finance means the science of money. Actually, uh, it is a branch of economics till 1890. Uh, economics is a discipline branch of uh, finance. Then, economics simply means what? It is actually the efficient use of scarce resources. We have optimum utilization of scarce resources. That is the main uh, aim of economics. So, when we come back to uh, financial management in finance, uh, it is the process of conversion of uh, the accumulated funds it into productive purpose. Namal mobilize jidrala fund proper way, proper channel il invest jidha adil in retain. Alangil proper itla utilization for productive purposes. That is simply known as what finance. Or we can say planning and controlling of firms financial resources. That is simply known as financial management. So adu gonda thenne oru firm. A two important itla or uh, firm a two important so good kanda or area on a finance. Adonan and the number another finance is the lifeblood of business. So, the main objective of financial management, so that's the second question. The main objective of financial management it is wealth maximization. In the earlier time, we are saying it is profit maximization. Now it's changed. Wealth maximization is the main aim of uh, financial management. Why? So, we want to know the difference between both these two. What do you mean by profit maximization and what do you mean by wealth maximization? Uh, in the case of profit maximization, for example, profit to quota and short term profit and employee organization quality profit and for getting short term profit. Alangil palapurum customers and exploited the wear a palari dealer, gift to go to the Alangil coupons, sales promotion of the good palapurum profit to go down. Short time might with long term stability keep palapurum Anganu technical conde ethanol nilkam betunum or for amidlia. So that's why a profit maximization concept itself is a vague phenomenon. It should be uh, different from one people to another people. So that's why the profit maximization concept it replaced and now wealth maximization. What do you mean by wealth maximization? In the case of wealth maximization, the organization aims to increase the uh, wealth of the shareholders. The market price of the share, shareholders in the wealth to put an concentrate in the. Uh, that means the wealth of the organization it depends upon so many factors in that one of the important factors of only the profit the profit concept in the wealth kootan or firm in a sahai kinna gadagangalil unnu matrana but for example in uh, the short term profit in the quality control of the quality reduction in the quality short term profit in the quality but the goodwill is a good thing. So, that's why the profit is good. The market price is good. Okay, so market price is good. The goodwill is good. The policy is good. The economic fluctuations is okay. The market price is effective. For example, the case of Geo itself. Geo is a launch. It is free. So, at that time, the market price is good. So, at that time, the market price is good. Then, in the administration, the company's policies are 
ദെൻ ഈ പറയുന്ന മാർക്കറ്റ് ലീഡറായിട്ട് അവർ പതുക്കെ പതുക്കെ കയറി വന്നു അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ പെട്ടെന്ന് അവരുടെ പ്രൈസിൽ മാർക്കറ്റ് പ്രൈസിൽ ഒരു ഇൻക്രീസ് വന്നു സോ ദി വെൽത്ത് ഓഫ് ദി ഷെയർ ഹോൾഡേഴ്സ് ഇറ്റ് ഇൻക്രീസ്ഡ് സോ ദി ഓവറോൾ എന്താണ് വെൽത്ത് ഓഫ് ദി ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഓൾസോ ഇൻക്രീസ്ഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഷുഡ് റിഫ്ലക്ട് ദി ഇക്കോണമി ഓൾസോ സോ അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ ഈ പറയുന്ന വെൽത്ത് മാക്സിമൈസേഷനിലോട്ട് കോൺസെൻട്രേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാനാണ് എല്ലാ ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻസും ഇപ്പോൾ കോൺസെൻട്രേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് നോട്ട് ജസ്റ്റ് പ്രോഫിറ്റ് മാക്സിമൈസേഷൻ പ്രോഫിറ്റ് മാക്സിമൈസേഷൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് വെൽത്ത് കൂട്ടാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ടുള്ള ഫാക്ടേഴ്സിൽ ഒന്ന് മാത്രമാണ് സോ ദാറ്റ്സ് ഇ മെയിൻ ഒബ്ജക്റ്റീവ് ഓഫ് ഫിനാൻഷ്യൽ മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് സോ വെൻ വി ആർ ഡിസ്കസിങ് അബൌട്ട് പ്രോഫിറ്റ് മാക്സിമൈസേഷൻ Uh, in the case of profit maximization it measures the efficiency of the organization profit maximization measure the efficiency of the organization number 1 number 2 uh, it is a protection against risk profit maximization is a protection against risk we know future is uncertain so we are uh, for reducing the risk we want to increase our profit so uh, in this uncertain environment Uh, the we want to give more importance for uh, profit maximization so that's the main two objectives of what profit maximization but the main arguments against profit maximization it is what number one i told you it exploits consumers and employees for increasing the profit പ്രോഫിറ്റ് കൂട്ടാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് കൺസ്യൂമേഴ്സിനും എംപ്ലോയീസിനും പല രീതിയിൽ പ്രോഫിറ്റ് കൂട്ടാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് അവരെ എക്സ്പ്ലോയിറ്റ് ചെയ്യാണ് സോ ദാറ്റ്സ് ദി മെയിൻ ആർഗ്യുമെൻസ് അഗെയിൻസ് വാട്ട് ദിസ് പ്രോഫിറ്റ് മാക്സിമൈസേഷൻ Uh, then uh, it's a vague phenomenon the word itself it's a vague term it should be different from uh, people to people one uh, one individual to another individual uh, one area to another area the concept of uh, the concept of profit maximization it should be different so that's the uh, main two arguments against profit maximization so for overcoming this word uh, the limitation so the the concept limitation the rise the wealth maximization in the case of wealth maximization the organization concentrating for increasing the wealth of the shareholders wealth of the organization so when the wealth of the mar- when the market price is increasing naturally the overall wealth of the firm should increase it should be beneficial for the society also so number one the main uh, number one uh, arguments in the favor of wealth maximization uh, short term uh, uh, payments uh, easily pay off with the help of uh, what this uh, wealth maximization we can easily pay off a short term money lenders short term lenders short term pay off it is easily possible to pay off number one number two uh, long term uh, uh, payment it's also possible we can easily uh, um, pay the amount of interest fixed amount of interest it is easily possible if you are following the particular concept of wealth maximization so nan adiyam parannu short term aayittulla payment gal namukku theerkanum number 2 uh, long term uh, aayittulla payment galukku proper aayittulla fixed income avare interest fixed uh, interest namukku uh, pay cheyanumulla or possibility randamad undavana number 3 it increasing the wealth of the uh, shareholders it increasing the wealth of the employees overall wealth of the organization it is increasing so number 4 so it should be beneficial for the economy society also so that's why uh, the, every organization must want to concentrate on wealth maximization so idana nan indha video il discuss cheyan this is the main concept main objective of wealth maximization and the difference between profit maximization and wealth maximization so and the very video il financial management la main aayittla concept gale ella karyangalum ningalku expect cheyam so uh, once again uh, thank you uh, my dear friends so nanai padiyu so this is kiran cs signing off have a nice day